Now it's time for the week's edition of Ask Philip. Philip being me, of course. You've asked us questions on social media, and you know, now I'm going to answer them. And our first question comes from Sheik Rahim on Facebook. Sheik Rahim asks me, what year did you buy your property? Where is it located? And how many units are in the property? You said to ask questions, so I thought I'll ask. Thank you, Sheik Rahim, for asking. I'll be glad to answer. What year did I buy my first property? I bought my first property in 2016 in April. I no longer have it, but it was in Jersey City, 12 minutes from World Trade Center in this area. The reason I went there is because in my infinite ignorance, I knew nothing about anything that I was doing, so I just stuck to common sense and things that I could understand, and it helped me tremendously. So I said, look, I'm looking in Brooklyn, which is east of Manhattan, and the farther into Brooklyn I got, it was like, it still was expensive. I had to pay, uh, it was around 700, 800,000 for two apartments, and then a barely livable basement, but if I went right west to Jersey City, which is like right there, I can get a brand new one with three apartments, three large gorgeous apartments for $750,000 and it was brand new ready to go could lease it out it was very it wasn't easy but I could learn the process at my own leisure my own pace and it was incredibly helpful and ended up it ended up going up in valuable by a substantial amount of money in a very short period of time so that's how it went down now our next question is from tiger underscore carl on instagram if you have 3 k to invest in some stocks right now, who do you like and why? Now, I have to be mindful by how I answer this question because I am not in financial. I'm not a financial advisor. I am not at liberty to advise you what to do with your money. That's not my role. However, if I had 3 k and I was in a position where that was for me, what I would do is just simply because of the environment that we're in. I say this all the time, and I cannot stress this enough. Money's being pumped into the economy. Prices are rising. What that means is... One dollar won't have the same buying power one, two, three years down the road, but the numerical value will will remain the same, and there's more in supply, right? So naturally, it's all going to go up, and the stock market follows suit. So I would simply put it into ETFs, index funds, uh, that track the economy as a whole, because if you look back historically over the past hundred-some years, the, the U.S. economy, the stock market has gone up about by 10 to 15 percent every single year i think that number is going to be amplified because of the environment that we're in right now so i would simply go into those the three main ones that i like and that i've bought is spy that's the ticker you just go on your robin hood you can find it and look into it yourself i'm not telling you to buy it i'm just saying what i would do spy qqq and voo and you can look at the returns over the past five years and you can sort of see that it just you can look into it yourself, but that's what I would do. 3000 I think that's a good place to start. You can let it compound and keep saving up and keep putting money into your investment account. And before you know it, you'll be in a really good spot. And you'll protect yourself from the, the ramifications of too much money being put into uh, circulation without being taken back out or paid back, all right? I hope that makes sense. I said it in a cryptic way, but I hope it makes sense. Now, our last question is from at johnny.brand on instagram and johnny.brand says i am currently majoring in construction management as well as planning to get my real estate license in the next couple of years how can i use this to my advantage for pursuing a career in real estate development will this allow me to join the industry with less capital investment by potentially starting out with partnering with a developer uh short answer is I suppose it can help you, yes, because you're coming in with a skill set out the gate that can help a developer. And if you can make life easier for a developer, I'm a real estate developer. If you, if someone, heck, I have a construction management company that is now co-developing with me for that very reason. But one thing that I will say to you, just because you go to school for something doesn't equate to experience. Let me repeat that. Just because you go to school for something does not equate to experience. Experience is always key. I don't have an education in in real estate or in finance, barely. I, have, ugh, this is so, ugh. I, I went to business school where I learned next to nothing and it definitely didn't carry over into what I'm doing now. So experience and being, experience and being resourceful and figuring stuff out and just getting in the trenches 
is far more valuable. But no, getting information can't hurt you. But don't overdo it either, I would say. Don't get into this whole analysis paralysis type of situation where you actually don't execute and you just arm yourself with so much knowledge, but you're crippled and never actually do nothing. So that's what I would say. But in short, will it help? It should. And I think it will. All right. Go for it. Now, if you want to hear your question live, make sure to follow us on social media. Ask us a question on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok. And we could feature you on next week's show. 